Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up as we once again have a look at some of the games coming out for the Switch in this upcoming week. In terms of dates, we'll be going from the 5th of August up until the 11th and we'll first look at any games that crept out without being in one of these videos for whatever reason before focusing on the week at hand. So which games are coming out for the Switch this week? Well, let's find out. Let's look at a couple of games that are already out then and the first is called The Entropy Center. This describes itself as a mind-bending puzzle adventure using a first-person perspective where you must solve ingenious and complex puzzles by rewinding objects through time. The blurb goes on to say that an extinction level event has set the world ablaze and you appear to be the last remaining person alive. The only hope for mankind lies at the core of the entropy center. It looks as if it will play a little like something such as the Turing test or the Talos principle in terms of having to solve puzzles using some sort of device and it did launch with a 50% off discount, although unfortunately by the time you watch this video that would have ended. It cost £23.99 or your regional equivalent. The other game we'll look at that's already out is Brotato. This is a top-down arena shooter roguelite where you play as a potato wielding up to six weapons at a time to fight off hordes of aliens. This has been out on Steam for a while and has quite a following, I believe, and the Switch version is selling for just £4.99. There are hundreds of items and weapons to choose from such as flamethrowers, SMGs, rocket launchers or even sticks and stones. You'll have to survive waves lasting from 20 to 90 seconds each, killing as many aliens as you can during that time and you can collect materials to gain experience and get items from the shop between waves. We have actually reviewed this one already, I'll put a link to that in the top right hand corner if you want to give it a watch and get the full story. Let's move on to the games coming out this week then and the first is WrestleQuest. This is a game I know a lot of people will be excited for and it mixes classic wrestling with some well-known names from the past, even I recognise some of them and that's saying something, such as Macho Man, Randy Savage, Jake the Snake and Andre the Giant with an RPG fantasy style universe. It says you'll need to upgrade from aspiring rookie to world champion by training, learning, glamming and slamming your way to the top. It merges RPG combat with wrestling moves and you'll visit a number of exotic locations and fight monsters, all the while choosing your moves, style, taunts and your entrance as you create your perfect wrestler. As much as I'm not a fan of wrestling, I've said that many times and know very little about it, I do like it when they mix a sport with some sort of RPG element and I do seem to remember there was a Game Boy game, I think it was, for wrestling that did something like that in the past. It had like a story mode where you had to go and rescue people. Can't quite remember, but if you know the name of that game, please do feel free to put it in the comments section. Anyway, this one is out on the 8th and it will cost £24.99 or your regional equivalent. Your favor and unleash your own brand of mayhem. So get ready to begin your legendary journey because it's time for WrestleQuest. Next we have Anthology of Fear, which sees you taking on an investigation into your brother's disappearance. The game plays out chapter by chapter, and it says that your investigation will lead you into an abandoned medical facility where you gradually discover the disturbing past behind the building. You'll delve into the memories of the people associated with your brother's disappearance, and the blurb says experience the unexplainable and have to survive the unimaginable. Judging by the trailer, it looks like a fairly standard first-person survival walking simulator, having a lot of those classic tropes we seem to see in such games, such as a whole host of mannequins. Anyway, it costs just £8.09, or your regional equivalent, and it's another game out on the 8th. After all these years, it's good to see you again. Then we have Legend Bowl, which promises to bring you back to the glory days of pixel-style American football games of the past. It says you'll enjoy a hybrid of arcade-style football and simulation aspects, both on and off the field, with fully customizable players and teams to create, and an endless amount of variety in your league. It includes an exhibition mode, tournament mode, franchise mode, training camp mode, and a number of customization options. There are 32 teams to pick from, each with unique players and their own stats and abilities, or you can create your own coach, sign up with a team and take them through a full 17 week schedule. As well as that, the game offers local multiplayer for up to four players. This is a game that releases on the 9th and it will cost £22.49 or your regional equivalent.
Next we have Zombie Soup. This is a top-down shooter combined with hack and slash action, so says the blurb. You play as Ricky, whose graduation trip has taken an unexpected turn when he arrives in a town only to discover it's inhabited by zombies. There will be a host of weapons to choose from, including a number of firearms, but it also includes melee weapons such as axes and daggers, or you can just blow everyone up with the explosives. As well as this, there are special weapons such as a fireworks launcher or even a pitching machine, and you'll have to take part in a number of timed challenges in order to get through the game. This one also releases on the 9th and it will cost £16.99. Next we have The Rewinder, which is a 2D puzzle adventure game inspired by traditional Chinese folklore. It uses a pixel art style in an attempt to mimic the aesthetics of Chinese ink paintings, and you'll meet mythological creatures such as the Spirit Wardens, the Guardians of Beyond, and the Keeper of the Land. You need to investigate a small village where a spirit couldn't be reincarnated to see exactly what has happened and where all the villagers have gone. To do this, you'll need to communicate with the spirits and explore other people's memories in order to alter the past. There's not a huge more written about the actual gameplay in terms of how it all transpires and there isn't a trailer on the eShop either, unfortunately. Hopefully I've been able to find one and you are now watching it, but this one releases on the 10th and it will cost £11.29. Following on from that, we have Neon Blight. This describes itself as a neon roguelite, which combines shooting action and storm management. It's set in a cyberpunk world, where you play as the owner of a gun shop, and it's your job to provide the wannabe heroes with the weapons they need to succeed, whilst also fighting through endless waves of enemies in order to acquire weapons to then sell on. You can customise the shop to your liking and sell the weapons that you acquire, as I mentioned just now, and you can build relationships with your customers by fulfilling their needs or taking matters into your own hands when necessary by accepting quests from them. Sounds very interesting actually, I'd be intrigued to see how the roguelite element of it plays out. This one will cost £16.75 or your regional equivalent and it's out on the 10th. The penultimate game for the week is Wild Legion. This calls itself a survivor combat and tower defense game where you'll need to wield various weapons, engage in battles and take lost animal friends to the teleport. As seems to be the theme this week, there are a host of different weapons and you'll be fighting countless monsters from all directions, collecting materials and gold to buy new weapons. You can stack buffs which have different functions to make yourself stronger and collect materials to make grenades or bombs. You can also build turrets using these materials. Again, it mentions a huge level of customization, and it does have a pre-launch discount of 20% off its usual price of £20.69 that is in effect until launch day, which is the 10th. And the final game for the week then is Rainbow Skies. This is a strategy RPG, which presents itself in an isometric style. The blurb says you'll be immersing yourself in a colorful world filled to the brim with murky dungeons and traditional turn-based battles. There are monsters to tame and a variety of weapons, equipment and skills offered, and again, a huge amount of customization and character development. There are side quests to undertake, towns to visit, and secrets to discover as you take on the role of Damien, who after failing his monster taming examination, finds himself embroiled in an adventure between the front of two rival superpowers. You can breed and level up the monsters that you tame, and upgrade your character's weapons and equipment. It also mentions that there are a few mini-games involved, including a turn-based fishing game. So this game's out on the 11th, it's the final game for this video, and it will cost you £17.99, or your regional equivalent. So there you have it, another week of Nintendo Switch releases. Do any of these games interest you at all? Please do let us know in the comment section below. 
Don't forget if you are looking for eShop credit to pick any of these games up, you can get your eShop cards via our website switchup.gg. Doing so will earn you 5% in cash back off of your purchase price back in coins, which you can then use against a future purchase of course, and you can also get a straight 5% discount by using the code SWITCHUP. There's also a link down there to play Asia if you're looking to import any games. Use the link below, use the code STATED and you'll get yourself 5% off of your order. A quick thank you to our patrons and our channel members for your continued support and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care and until next time, happy gaming.